In this Beyond Today series on to be a disciple, becoming a disciple of Jesus Christ, we've been talking about commitment. Last time I misspelled the word, so I want to make sure that I get it corrected here right now. But we're still talking about commitment. Last time we talked about Jesus making a statement to someone who came and saying that they would follow him wherever he would go. And he made the comment in Luke chapter 9 that if we don't put our hand to the plow and keep it there, and if we look back, he said, we're not fit for the kingdom of God. The disciples understood exactly what Jesus meant when he said that. They would have instantly referenced a story from the Old Testament, the story of Elisha following the prophet Elijah, Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 19. And it's there I want to take us and read the story of Elisha following Elisha, beginning in, in verse 19 through verse 21. Elijah was a great Old Testament prophet, and prior to his death, he was told by God to begin to train, mentor, disciple someone else, in this case, Elisha. Now, Elijah went and he found Elisha, and we are told here in 1 Kings 19, chapter, uh, chapter 19 and uh, beginning in verse uh, 19, he found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen before him, and he was with the 12th. And Elisha, Elijah passed by him and threw his mantle on him. The mantle was his cloak and his coat and is a symbol of his authority as a prophet of God. Elisha, however, was plowing out in the field when Elijah found him. And so when he gave the summons, Elisha left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Please, let me kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow you. Similar to what some had said to Jesus back in Luke chapter 9. And he said to him, Elijah did, Go back again, for what have I done, what have I done to you? In other words, he was, he was basically telling him, Look, you, you better take this opportunity, come with me now and follow me and burn all your bridges. Make this new commitment, which he did. Elisha turned back in verse 21, and he took a yoke of oxen and slaughtered them, and he boiled their flesh using the oxen's equipment and gave it to the people, and they ate. Then he arose and followed Elijah and became his servant. Elisha became the servant of Elisha, and he stayed with him until the end of Elijah's life. But by taking the oxen, taking uh, the plow that he had, cutting up the, the plows, and slaughtering the oxen and using the plows uh, to build a fire and cook and eat the meat of the oxen, Elisha was basically burning his bridges with his past life. He now had a new calling, had a new vocation, and that was to be a disciple of Elijah, which when you read through the, the rest of the account, Elisha accomplished. There's a lot of lessons from that. But that's where Jesus got the example in Luke chapter 9, which we covered in an earlier uh, daily about this concept of discipling, when he told his uh, disciples who wanted to follow him to put your hand to the plow. They would have known about the plow of Elisha, where when Elisha began to follow Elijah, he burned his plows, he killed his oxen, and he then had a new life to, to go forward. That is what it takes to make a lifelong commitment to the life and the teachings and the service of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to be a disciple of Jesus Christ and a follower, to let him mentor us. We have to be like those in the Old Testament, in this case of Elisha with Elijah and others who were willing to, to forsake their previous life and follow God, follow his teachings wherever they, they would go, in this case with Elijah. And that's really what it takes when it comes to the commitment to be a disciple. And so it's important to analyze this matter of commitment in any part of our life. The commitment that we have to work, to a husband, to a wife, to another personal relationship of friends that we might have, and certainly in a calling and a commitment to God and to His way of life and to His truth. When we are able and willing to put our hands to the plow and to do like Elisha did, to basically sever what it takes and to make, to make that commitment to follow God, then we are ready to be his disciple. Then we are ready to begin to learn what it means to be a disciple. That's BT Daily. Join us next time.